Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to entertainment in the world of chess, there are two extremes from which you can source this type of information. Number one is watching low-rated players play, because it's beautiful disaster, and it's the equivalent of, let's say, pig's mud wrestling. On the other side of things, we have the engines, the 3600-rated stockfishes and leelas of the world, and that's like watching beautiful, large animals prancing uh, in a savanna. And today, I've got a game for you between Leela Chess Zero and Stockfish, uh, currently the two strongest uh, computers in the world. And you'll notice that this uh, this starting position looks something like a fever dream. This doesn't really look real. Looks like it's a you know bad acid trip. This is called um, Chess 960 or Fisher Random. It's where the back row of pieces is shuffled. The only criteria being the king has to be between the rooks to allow the right to castle. And the bishops have to be an opposite color. There's 960 starting positions like this. And Leela begins with knight g3. Now, when super GMs play these positions, they oftentimes look for pawn structures and ways to get the games back to positions that are more normal, right? But when a knight is coming to g3 early on, it's going to be really hard to do because that just usually does not happen. This knight's going to have to be somewhere on b3 or d3. Bishop's not very clear where they're going. Uh, and Stockfish responds to Leela's knight g3 with the move c5. So... Um, yeah, the, the, the engines really enjoy opening up the diagonals quickly, like the bishops and the queen, but there is just so much that can happen. There's way too much variance to be analyzing everything. Generally, the same rule of thumb applies that you want to control the center. Um, and then uh, here, Leela just, just completely breaks all principles, uh, and plays knight to h5. <laughs> um, knight to h5 threatens mate. <laughs> knight takes g7 is mate. It, it's just check and mate. Uh, there's no way around it. You can also move the pawn up and still get mated, so that would be very nice. And it's also not easy to defend the pawn. Like, it, it makes you think the best first move might have been something like f5, just so knight h5 can be met with g6, and this is not possible. But uh, Stockfish chooses to defend its weakness with a counterattack. So the queen comes out. Now that bakes, that bakes, that breaks certain opening principles, right? You're also not supposed to uh, bring your queen out early. So now the knight is hanging and this is, um, this is defended. But Leela's like, yeah, and g4, stupid. Uh-huh. And you're still going to really struggle to kick this knight out because in this position, I can uh, use danger levels. And trust me, Leela is very well versed in this and would just play f4. And all of a sudden, the queen cannot stay on the diagonal. There's nothing that the queen can do. Every square is covered and the game is over because knight g7 is a mate threat. So at this point, Stockfish has to play e6. e6 is a multi-purpose move. You kind of get, get the king some breathing room. The bishop controls this diagonal. Uh, but uh, the problem is that because the queen has been brought out, Leela uses that uh, to its advantage and plays the move knight d3. So now the queen is hanging once again. The queen has to move. Uh, if the queen goes back to where it came from, again, this is weak, so we have queen g5. Not surprising. And now, you know, the point of queen g5 is the move f4 uh, runs into just sim simply queen takes pawn, so, so we can't do that. Uh, so Leela finds a way to defend uh, the g4 pawn and kind of continue to encroach on the space of black, e4. Space in chess is the amount of squares you control on your opponent's side of the board, right? So the pawns chop the middle, the knights chop up the center, and the only real piece that's doing anything for black is this pawn uh, alongside the queen. I'm not, I mean, just really just the queen, but the queen can't do anything by herself. Like, just because the queen's out doesn't mean she's actually attacking anything, because if everything's protected, queen's a liability, all right? It's like walking around in a neighborhood, right? It's dark, it's two in the morning, you're walking around the streets of New York flashing your fancy jewelry. It's, it's, not, it's, not, gonna, it's not, not, not gonna end well, okay? So at this point, Stockfish has a choice. Uh, Stockfish can create counterplay on this side of the board, creating just a mess, right? Uh, F5, both pawns hit, bishops coming out, rooks coming out. Uh, or Stockfish can say, well, you know, I'm going to slow Leela down because I, I might as well just attack this knight, right? Uh, makes sense, right? Because the knight, it's actually kind of hard to move this knight. Now, this is the beginning of the brilliance. The next move and the move after it aren't completely brilliant, um, but you're going to have to appreciate. So F4. F4, not surprising. Again, we disregard the attack on our uh, piece by attacking the queen. Right? We, we've seen this already a couple of times. Uh, the queen has to move uh, because if you go danger levels like this, then your dangers get leveled. And now, uh, I mean, queen h2, you're probably just going to get trapped. I mean, bishop f3, rook h1, your queen's just going to get trapped. It's just not, not worth going in like that. So queen backs up, and Leela again, even though has knight e5 to give away this with check and just keep developing... 
pushes the f pawn forward. These machines um, love space. They, they, they absolutely love it. Uh, the more space you can take away from your opponent, the better. And sometimes it takes them a little while to catch up, like, oh my god, even though I'm, I'm up material, the spatial disadvantage is going to be really hard to stop. So f5, okay. Uh, Stockfish here takes, not surprising, pawn takes, and here throws in an in-between move, a Zwitschenzug, right? Bishop h4. The point of Bishop h4 is like, okay, I haven't developed anything, so I might as well trade a piece or two, maybe lighten up the pressure. Uh, maybe Stockfish is going to move the knight and then castle long. So just so you understand, like, this king will be castling long on the traditional long castle squares, but the knight has to get out of the way. If this bishop moves, white would be castling short like that, and long would be with that rook, okay? So, uh, yeah, Leela says, okay, check is great. Let's trade bishops. Uh, Stockfish moves the queen forward. Okay, it seems like the initiative has cooled off. I apologize. Uh, I clicked the rook with the king and it automatically castled. Uh, it seems like the initiative has cooled off. The knight is hanging. If you take on h4 and then there's check, I don't know, that's not really that pleasant. Knight comes out, right? Like black is going to activate their pieces at some point. Uh, it seems like after queen g5, there's not much you can do. You can't attack the queen anymore and you have to do something about your knight. But this is why you clicked on this video. Uh, we had six minutes of a of a lengthy kind of introduction, and from this point forward, uh, it's Leela Chess just absolutely going ballistic. And uh, Leela actually does castle. So Leela decides to castle the king. This knight's dead. It just sacks the knight completely. And you would think, oh, well, that's, I, I, I get it, you know, I understand. We want to go for the king. Obviously, the king's wide open. Not a lot of pieces there to protect it. Okay, super. All right, pawn takes d3, rookie one check. No. Leela decides to trade and completely negate its own ability to give a check. Be so what is Leela? What is what is what is it? Is it? It's. I mean, is it this check to take on g7, take a pawn with check? Finally, no, no, it's not that. It's not any of that. The move here for White is the move f6. F6. That's the point. Your king is wide open, but. This is something that I call, like, fake danger. There's, there's no danger to the white king. It's just open. There's, but there's, there's no real threat. And f6 is a, is, a, is a horrible move to deal with because if you take, I plant my knight here, let's say king to d8, and this knight's just going to stay. Because it's chess 960, none of your pieces are equipped to deal with my knight. None of them. And sooner or later, I'm going to bring my queen on this side with my rook, and I'm going to meet your king right there. All your pieces are on the back rank, right? So you can't take on G on F6. Uh, and if you play G5, well, now you've just locked your queen in jail. <laughs> so that doesn't work. So you have to go a middle ground. You probably have to... And by the way, you obviously can't let me take. That would be a disaster. So G6, and now we go to G7. And now it's like, but now what? You've locked your knight in jail. Black is going to go G5. Knight G like Black is a couple moves away from getting all the pieces out, right? So what does Lila do? Just takes the pawn. Just takes the pawn, like, like nothing. They're just CD5, uh, CD3. And why? Well, let's say black begins active operations, right? H5. Queen C2. Black's like, bishop H7. Rook C1. Uh-oh. This attack is devastating. That's mate. Queen C7 is mate. It is a check and a mate. That's it. You lose. You can't stop my attack at all. So black... Doesn't like this sacrifice of the piece to just take back and open up this belligerent assault on the C file is the point. And because Black spent a lot of time moving the queen, it's gonna take this queen much more time to get like it's, it's gonna have to take take some time to get back into the game. But even then, just because you stop my first wave of attack, Leela sees the the future. It sees that beyond this, because you're gonna spend so much time moving the queen back, you're not gonna get those pieces out. This is only act one of the brilliance. Knight to d6. Stockfish sees the incoming danger, wants to play rook to c8 to meet the queen and the rook. This is all very clever. And wants to play knight e8. That's the thing. If, if you can break that bond on the king side, we're going to be good. Now, you can get like 10 guesses here to, to try to guess what Leela plays. This move is so outlandish. I, I like don't understand it at all. I mean, I, I do. That's why I'm going to have to explain this video. But it is such an absurd move. The move here, you have queen, two rooks, bishop trying to get into the game b4 the move b4 was played here yeah um okay 
B4 has two ideas. Number one, you've kind of understood that the C file is not going to work. So you're going to develop your queen on the dark squares after you move your pawn. So your queen is going to fight for the center dark squares on B2. It's also going to protect this and this. And, and, and you're just going to take space. I, I told you, they love space. They love it, right? Queen comes back to G5, attacks D2. You obviously can't let that happen. Queen B2. I just said that. Now we understand why we move the pawn. An example of activating pieces without moving them. You activate another thing first. You'll give them some breathing room, right? Queen B2. Okay, fantastic. Black plays rook c8. Seems like Stockfish is kind of taking care of its queenside problems. Uh, and after rook c8, again, it's time for white to develop the pieces, right? No. Leela just pushes another pawn. B4, A4. And really the question, it's kind of looking at Stockfish like, yo, idiot, what are you going to do? Like, what's your move? Nice bishop on g8. Okay, so obviously Stockfish wants to play h5, I'm, I'm right? You got to play h5 at some point. You got to try to attack this, bring the queen back. No, you know what these moves do? They control the queen. So the queen can't move, right? And if the queen moves, let, 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 let's say... Uh, let, let, let's say the queen had gone to d5, okay, just as a hypothetical, it immediately becomes a target. But not even, not even that, white can just do nothing. Like, because white's pieces control every important square, right? Every important square. That's all Leela wants. It just controls black's movement. Every square is mined, like in Minesweeper, right? Well, not every square, but just about. And at some point, if black is going to just start playing like h5 and continuing to do, rook e3 is going to come, right? Then bishop f3 is going to come, and the rook is going to come. It's an incredible uh, d display of dominance. But for now, Lila plays a4, and Stockfish goes back to e8. I, I talked about this, right? I talked about this. Here, Lila plays an absolutely savage move. You can try to pause here if you'd like. Um, yeah, th this move basically seals the deal. Uh, and, and that move is the astounding. Like, again, we've talked about queen to the middle. We've talked about rook up, rook over, bishop out. Leela plays h4. Uh, and, and h4 is just, is just gross. So first of all, if you take, what you're doing is you're deflecting the queen from the protection of e5. If the white queen can arrive on e5, uh, it's time to resign. However, it's time to resign for a very specific reason. Because when the queen arrives on e7 to give a check and is going to win all of this, you can't just go take because you blunder a draw. Hidden in this attack is the fact that black is this close to saving the game. So the key move after the queen arrives on e7 and the king moves out of the way is to play the ultra cold-blooded king g2, which is the computer middle finger to the opponent. And now the queen cannot give perpetual and all of these pieces will die. All of them, they will all die. It doesn't matter that you can take on f6. I will take everything and then I will attack your king for good measure. So, uh, and rook h1 traps your queen. By the way, there's like moments where if you like take on f6, I have a fork. I mean, it's just, it's a complete catastrophe. h4 is just a stunning move, but I've only talked about whether or not this, this capture occurs, right? So we have queen d5. Queen d5, all right. I'm standing in the middle of the board. What are you gonna do? Once again, Leela shows that it's not playing the short-term game, it is playing the long-term game and says, you spent a lot of time not activating your king side, g5. Now, you will never open up this diagonal for your bishop, and you will never open up the knight. And at this point, if you let Stockfish run for a little bit, it just kind of goes slowly from, it's fine, it's okay. No, like, yeah, it's... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, no. Leela, hey, we're friends, right? Stockfish at this point realizes it's, it's bad. And from this point forward, it's like the equivalent of an eighth grader beating up a five-year-old at the playground. And I don't necessarily condone bullying, but for inanimate computer objects, I will absolutely condone it. What you're about to witness is, is gross, frankly. Gross. I had to contemplate putting, putting this video out because I thought I might get demonetized. First, bishop 2f3, hitting the queen. Come and take my pawn. Oh, isn't it wonderful that you can win pawns? Rook to a3, attacking the queen. Now the queen's barely got any moves. Literally, the queen is, is, is stuck in the center of the board with the exception of queen to a6, allowing this infiltration. So, knight c4. Wait a minute. 
Traditional rules tell us that a queen trade when you're up material should be good. <laughs> Not when three of your pieces are in jail, though. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Rook to c4, trying to win some pawns. Leela says, I absolutely don't care. Go ahead and take b or h. It really doesn't matter. Stockfish says, you know what? Actually, I should probably get my king to safety. Leela says, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to continue to push my pawns because your position is so bad, I can do whatever I want. Now it's time to activate my rook on the open file and I'm going down here. Or, <clears throat> or my rook is going to lend a helping hand. Let me protect my bishop first. My rook is going to lend a helping hand to... My knight! My knight has been stuck in jail with your two pieces, but I've got a way out. You see this? You see this? Look at that. Come on out, horsey. Now we have knight c4, rook e4, and you can't prevent the following combination, which is rook takes c4, rook takes c4, and the knight jumps out and picks up the material. And now, Leela is not only no longer down material, Leela's also just going to walk in and get to this king, while these pieces can't do anything, all right? Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's really nasty, and here, uh, the, the final touch of this game is the fact that Leela has a sense of humor. Because, you know, a cold-blooded machine just takes the pawns and checkmates somehow. Look at what Leela starts to do. Leela starts bringing the king. This is so extra. This is so unnecessary. You do not need to do it. It is such a scumbag. It's going to walk the king. All the, it's completely unnecessary. Complete, it's like, all right, Stockfish, you don't want to resign? That's great. Go ahead. Here, here, take my knight. I don't even, I don't even need it. I don't even, the Stockfish is like, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And by the way, if rook c4 occurs, uh, you could, you could probably even play rook d8. Like that, that's, this is the craziest part. You could, you could maybe even win this position. I'm not hundred percent certain. Maybe there's some defensive fortress here, but I would not be shocked if you could still win this game. Um, but, uh, yeah, rook c7, we have king d6, and uh, now rook c4. And yeah, potentially the most brutal moment of this game comes right now when rook a check is occurring. Black is officially stuck with two pieces in the corner. They cannot move. Leela concludes this beautiful game by playing rook takes a3, bishop to h7, b6, bishop g8, b7, bishop h7. <laughs> And rook a8 mate. Gross. This is one of the nastiest things I've ever seen an engine do. It's the equivalent of sitting on like on a person and just slapping them on the face and asking them what they're gonna do about it. This is playground bullying type of stuff here from Leela. And I, I, I would love to see these engines continue to play chess 960 because clearly some of them are programmed. Uh, it, well, I, I, I don't dare to speak about the technical components of these computers, but it seems like some of them have a little bit more of a knack for these positions and understanding that chaos is coming and getting your pieces locked away is probably not going to be a good way uh, to, uh, to play the game. But yeah, I mean, definitely don't bring your queen out like this. It's very clear that even at the cost of material, your queen can be stuck getting hunted very, very early. So... Nasty game by Leela, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there's anything, any other kind of engine games, I'm more than happy to uh, read through the comments and find them for future content. Appreciate you all very much. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next video. Get out of here.